We looked at using the auto punch feature with replace and looping it over and over again, but sometimes we just want to do a loop recording when we're not punching in and just keep going until we get something we like. Now I'm going to create a new audio track. I'm going to hit T and I'm going to name it Shaker. And I'm going to have just one of these. And I'm going to switch to color just to change things up. Mono track, and I'm going to use the same mic input for now and no preset. So let's put that there. And I'm going to record some shaker. And this time I'm going to record, let's say, the second four bars over and over again. I'm going to set this for the entire four bars. And I'm going to put on the forward slash key. And here in my record panel, and you will recall this is option shift R to hide or show it. I'm going to take off replace and put takes to layers. So that means each time that it cycles through here, it's going to create a new layer. So with that done, I'm going to quickly open up my metronome settings because I want to enable the pre-roll, not pre-count. I mean, I don't need to open the box just for that because I can do it with key command. But I want to set the number of bars. I want to get two bars of pre-roll so that when I hit record, it's going to start playing from here and then start recording there and loop it over and over again. So let's record and enable the track and start. All right, so we can see here that it's recorded all those takes and put them all into separate layers. I played with different accents and I think I like take four the best, but I don't have to decide that right now. And let's just listen back real quick. Good. So that's simple audio loop recording. And in this case, we did takes to layers. I can always right click over here and just collapse that view. And we'll look later in this series at how to work with the different layers and take bits from each and that kind of thing. And that's it. We'll continue with more in the next video.